and how you do it. We got uh, we got a little music in the house today. It's pretty good. Got my uh, Poppy Chulo, our uh, co-host today, and our uh, musician guest, Mr. Andy Sexton from Simplicity. Whoa, you, you the man, man. you the man. And how does tech and music play together? Well, we'll find out in just a second. Wrap it up. Oh, man, that's so cool. We never started a show like this before. Really? Andy, wow. nice to see you again, man. I love you, man. We go back for a long way. Long way. When I had hair as long as you. Easy. Yeah, you, you did, actually. I remember. <laughs> You're a hippie. <laughs> I was a hippie. That's I how long we've been around. That's how long we we've been around. That might have been the 60s, because I don't remember him with hair. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's true. It was the 60s. <laughs> anyway, please grab a chair, grab yourself a libation, and join us for another exciting episode of Ibachi Talk, where we're going to talk about um, uh, technology change in the music industry. And it's really, in, you've been in, how long have you been in this music industry? Ooh, I have to give my age? No. Uh, I know you look young. Oh, um, but if I was four years old, I started. And you're four and years so old. Wow, a long time. I'm 28 now. So. 28 now, so 24 years. That's pretty cool. Nicely done. Anyway, so we're going to talk about it's kind of shifted a little bit since the days when you were um, uh, out there on the street yeah, well, we, playing music. It's true. Uh, you know, Wanky Key, back in the days, you know, we're easily, you know, at four years old, uh, my mom, you know, put us on stage and we played all our whole lives. Our, my great grandfather is off of Aloy Kea. Uh, my great grandmother is Lizzie Eloy Kea. They've both been inducted into the you know, Hawaii Hall of okay. Fame. Wow. And, um, you know, Simplicity is our, our band. We've been around for. Oh, for a long. Back in the days when you were teaching me how to play the ukulele. <laughs> and look true. how good I didn't get. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but your grandson can play. So well, yeah, no, your grandson can play. That's, that's very, very true. Um, you know, four, so, where did you go to school? Four decades, you know, four decades of, of, of trying to do music, you know, uh, Job Corps. Job Corps? You well, went to school, the job court. Kicked wow. out of that school, kicked out of that school. <laughs> oh, you sound like him. Well, you know, uh, we didn't know we were supposed to be in school. Okay. In our days, you know, was, uh, music was everything. But and truthfully, South High, Bakersfield, California. Um, our, my mother was with the Hee Haw Show back in on... Uh, the Hee Haw Show. Now there's... Now there, do you remember Hee Haw? Buck Owens, yeah. Merle Haggard, you know, yeah. uh, Bill That's Tillis. They're 21 in jail doing life without parole. <laughs> Something Merle Haggard. <laughs> Like, so, but wow, Buck, the so, show. so Buck Owens, you know, um, uh, but my mom was actually one of the technical uh, advisors for the show, and she did all the, uh, back then it was Beta 2 track. Okay, and which so, was better than VHS. Well, still is. Yep. And, and so she had to make sure that the show was done right. And so she did the overdubs right. and all these things. So as my brother and I were, grew up, we were under the table. My mom, you know, did all the editing and these things. And uh, we grew up on it, but we'd always had music in our lives because of my great-grandparents, my grand. My grandfather, my grandmother, uh, vaudeville back in the day, you know, East Coast. They did uh, all the Barnum and Bailey Circus, you know, and all those things. So they were the steamship, you know, that came right. over and they did all those things in the 30s and the 40s, and then they migrated to California. Uh, and, 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 and my dad, you know, was uh, trying to always keep music in our lives. So my brother and I, you know, had to go to junior high, high school, four years of uh, music theory. Right. You know, was, we hated it, but band. Marching band, concert band, jazz band, orchestra, they made us do it all. So you think about what the amount of time that you spent in this industry, and all these guys are, are gamers, right? I look at the tech side, they spend all these hours in the gamers, and there's, to me, there's no outcome for like me, the non-musician, whereas you spend all these decades as a musician, you learn all your trade, you learn all the different instruments, um, and then I get to listen. I get to be part of what's going on and, and all this kind of stuff. It's it's a whole different way. It's the same amount, uh, same if not uh, same amount of hours, but the the outcome is so much different. Yeah, and, uh, you're not a gamer, right? You're well, not sitting no, there. No, no, no. You can sit this. Gamer, gamers was was mom and dad said, go turn the channel. So, <laughs> that, yeah, was, yeah. that was that was our game. Hey, stay right there. Hold it. Right here, the antenna outside the window. Put you know a piece of bailing wire and something. No, it's way different. Back in the days when I was producing and doing things with the, the old days of, you know, 16 track, 24 track, never really existed. It was 16 track, you know, and it was tape and it cutting, editing. So we moved from those times uh, from analog to digital. Right. That's, where, that's, where, that's why I'm here because digital is yeah. not where we're at. Right. Everything's so much easier, faster, quicker. And the gamers nowadays, they would, they would never make it. Because they just don't understand what it takes to well, produce this stuff. 
Yeah, and now you can do it. You can do a garage and you know, at home. You can do everything at home. It's like Millie Vanilli all over again. I mean, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, and they kind of start. They they were the expose. I, I would think the they, expose. They of, definitely right until they got caught. Then they got caught. They were just overdubbing everything and so on. And what do you think about all that overdubbing and and and, and such? I mean, well, I'm the, not a musician, so no, I'm just gonna I can throw tell you all the shows. You, all the shows use it. I mean, there's no other show that doesn't have you know tape or tap or something that have clip tracks or whatever. But most of it, you know, back then was is live. Yeah, everything was live. Like and that's this why, show. Well, yeah, it's. I'm kind of surprised. You know, you actually have a live show, and it's really cool because uh, during our days of uh, trying to make music in Hawaii, um, simplicity was all about making sure our music sounded just like the record. Okay. So back in the the vinyl days. Yeah, for those of you that don't know what a record. Seventy-eight, is. 33s, and then the forty-five. 45. And yep. then cassettes and eight tracks and all those things. Real, you know, if, you, if you got any of those, keep them because they're probably coming, coming. back. It, well, vinyl yeah. is definitely coming Big back. Money. Vinyl well, is coming back. They always back. said vinyl was final. Yeah, right. and I believe and it that still is. it still is because Somebody all got a container even, full even of the spinner vinyl. guys still use you know vinyls to this day. <laughs> all scratching, all yeah. vinyls to this day. Original scratchers. Now they got no, but now they got digital things that make yeah. it sound like a vinyl. So yeah. it's changed. You know, um, it's quicker, it's faster, uh, it's easier to get in and out of a studio. We just been, you I know, like how you change your voice. I mean, how you go <laughs> oh, from no. from who you are to Froggy. I yeah. mean, you do it. You do it all the time. You've done it. You've done it for the twenty plus years I've known you. <laughs> it's not my fault. That's <laughs> who I am. It's, you know, it's, my my talking voice I is like Wolfman wolf Jack. It's kind of like your other person. And then my singing inside. voice is like you know Michael Jackson. You know, <laughs> but uh, I never thought about it until somebody said it. You know, like I never thought about it. And all these years we've been doing this, you know, simplicity. Sorry, just, Wait three decades, you know, put in this business, you know, and God bless all the all the entertainers are still out doing this. But this is all we've ever done. That's all you ever and done. I want to say something to the musicians: if you want to do this, put your time in. You know, you yeah. gotta spend time. A lot of time. It's all wood shading. In the old days, we call it wood shading. Now we call it practice. You gotta practice. Oh, yeah. Well, so, you guys. So think yeah. about this. Don't think about this. Back in the day, you didn't practice. You just showed up and just played. So speaking of practice, we have this segment called "You Know Got One Tech Tech Job." And there's a you, guy say I know. Say that again? You know, got, you know got one tech job. You know got one tech job. <laughs> Not like that. So anyway, we, I have this guy that I know is going to be out of a job in about a month. <laughs> and Mojango. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that guy. You, got, you know got one that tech like, job. That's like me on stage right there. So this guy is going to have no job at the end of uh, middle of January. And so he know got one tech job. What do you think? He's practicing? I think he's great. Yeah, he's good. Because you know what? Now he's he's on the run. No, check this out. So all you guys listen out there, my nephew Tavana, he's like a one-man band, same thing. He okay. puts all these things together, strums, stiff. He's a great entertainer. He, I should have him on the show too because, I'll, in fact, I'm going to bring him to you. Okay, he's do really, that. He's really done good. They have a whole new theme on music. Yeah, well, it's a one-man band. You know, it's, it's gone back to, you know, technology. Everybody's using everything. I refuse to use that stuff. I still play live with, with, with real guys and real places and real things, and I won't, I won't go to technology. I won't do it. You got, no, no you've refuse. got amplifiers and speakers and that kind of stuff. Well, well, that's part of it. It's always been duh. there, though. <laughs> she gave me that look like, duh. Yeah. yeah. No, but, no, but, no, that's why I'm not a musician. No, but those, those are the things that are still there. Yeah. It's still live. It's not recorded. Right. And it's, it's not, not tracks. It's not something that you put on a digital, something you plug in and go, hey, I'm here. Like Garage I'm, Band. And then I can put. I got. I got right more money. Here. I bet you do. <laughs> but I bet you don't use it. No, I don't. <laughs> you don't even. You don't even know how to use I it. Don't even You're know a tech freak, and you don't even. You're killing me. Let me use that thing for a minute. I'll, I'll just, okay. We should record it one time. <laughs> hey, but on another note, uh, real quick though, uh, as today we all, we've all heard the Hawaiian music. Uh, we lost a fellow musician, the Palani Vaughn. Palani Vaughn. Palani Vaughn. Palani Vaughn. Yeah, Palani Aloha, Vaughn. brother. Eoka My Eoka goodness, Eoka one of the first Eoka Eoka musicians Eoka I heard when I moved to Hawaii. And to all those, you know, all those that have paved the way, you know, for me, I'm still alive. I think the next album I'm going to call is called I'm Still Alive. Right? <laughs> Actually, my new album coming out is called... I tolerate you dot com. Well, that's between you two guys. <laughs> if you ever see these two guys live, they're, they're, they should have a comedy show or something. But, but in reality... Dumb and dumber. Music has changed, though, through the decades in Waikiki, and I'm still in Waikiki. I don't play out of Waikiki. Right. I love Waikiki because it's still my, it's my, my place. You know, and um, Snappers Nightclub is where I play for 22 years now. Uh, Smokehouse, you know, Friday. Harbor Pub, you know, all those places in that little four block radius is still Oh, I didn't there. know you were at Harbor Pub. Yeah, well, was. was. Not anymore. Uh, no. I moved over to Snappers now, but I still go over there and, you know, they play once in a while. Right. But uh, I've been, I was there seven years and it's just, a, it's a melting pot. Chart House upstairs. Yeah. You know, uh, Dean and Dean's still there on Sundays, but uh, 
So the local music scene is still what it was. I, I'm just a question. Like 20, 30 years ago, the no. players were different. No, no, it's different. <laughs> no, no. Before you go to Waikiki, every place, every hotel, every bar had a had a band. Okay. Now, like the Society Seven Days. Oh, they don't even exist anymore. Well, they're, I know they don't. They're done. That's what I say. Even C and K, and all those guys, you know, they, they put, Brother Nolan. No, they're still playing and stuff, but they don't. They're not. They don't. You know, only Henry's is still. He's in. You know, he's in Waikiki right. at Dukes, but. You know, I sat in with him a lot, you know. Yeah. But the big deal, you know, about it is um, music has changed because the people in Waikiki have changed. The owners, the clubs, the hotels, it's bigger, it's broader. Now they're starting to bring stuff back, which is cool. Oh, But wow. in the old days, you could go every block, you had an entertainer. Now it's like they're here, they're there. I've been, you know, blessed, like I said, 22 years in one place is a long time. I've the three owners, and I'm still there. Well, well, you don't charge. That's one of the reasons. Well, <laughs> we're still making the same money we did back you know, yeah, 30 years like ago. $100 a gig and 30 years ago, and it's $100 a gig now. Still true. Yeah, still true. Wow. But you, musicians are the only guys I know that will spend thousands of dollars on instruments, hundreds of dollars on a this car, <laughs> hundreds of dollars on a car, travel thousands of miles for a $50 a night gig. But it's 50 bucks, man. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You buy a lot of spam with 50 bucks. Yeah, you sure can. <laughs> but not a lot of gas. <laughs> That's different. That's the tips. Tips That's pay for the gas. But I also heard about you uh, renting equipment that I never knew existed. That's right. And what you're saying, so the, hold that, yeah. hold that, because he, yeah, he's here. That's the whole shift in the industry and what what's yeah. going to go on. So I didn't know that existed. Believe it or not, we burned through the first 15 minutes, and I got to go pay some bills. This is how I pay my bills. And then um, Ang, you haven't met. Well, you sort of, have you met Angus yet? Yeah. No. Well, you're in for a hell of a treat. Anyway, Angus is. Can you say help? Is it help? Yeah. Can, That's oh, okay. Well, never mind. I can say help. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. You're like cutting linguist. Jesus, you did it again. Oh my God, I know. What can I say? Cut. Anyway, we, I can pay hell? some bills. It's a, I got, live, it's a live show. You can't I, edit. I got to go to Lua. Hi, I'm Donna Blanchard. I'm the host of Center Stage, which is on Wednesdays at 2 o'clock here on Think Tech. On Center Stage, I talk with artists about not only what they do and how they do it, but the meat of the conversation for me is why they do it, why we go through this. A lot of us are not making our livings doing this, and a lot of us would do this with our last dying breath if we had that choice. And that's what I love to talk to people about. I hope you enjoy watching it, and I hope you get inspired because there's an artist inside you, too. Join us on Center Stage at 2 o'clock on Wednesdays. Bye. I'm Jay Fidel, and with Ray Starling, I host Hawaii, the State of Clean Energy, 4 o'clock every Wednesday, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, making discovery of what's going on in energy in this community. Ray, what do you think? We've got a great group of shows coming up, uh, finishing out this year and starting next year. Uh, Dean Nishida has been with us today. Uh, he's the new consumer advocate, and uh, he has told us a lot, but he's got a lot more to tell. So we're going to have him back and others like him in future shows. And Dean, how much of that do you agree with? There's a lot to be said, and I'm interested in seeing some of your other shows. Okay, we'll be back 4 o'clock every Wednesday here on Think Tech Hawaii. I pity the fool who ain't watching this show at 12 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Stan, the energy man, watch it. Hey, how you doing? Uh, welcome to Hibachi Talk. My name's Andrew Lanning. I'm your co-host. And we have a nice program here every Friday at 1 o'clock on Think Tech Studios where we talk about technology and we have a little bit of fun with it. So join us if you can. Thanks. Aloha. Aloha, Melikaliki Michael. We're back again for the second segment with our buddy Andy Sexton, beautiful ukulele, and Angus. Andrew! Oi! Andy, how you doing there, lad? Great to see you. I like you, lady. You know, you know. How are you doing? I do very well. Very well. I like you, cute. Hey, yeah. Are you a Sexton? I am a, well, I'll tell you where I am. No. You, you're from the River Clan? The River Clan. Not? I'm from the Highlands. I like you. You like you? I like you, too. You remind me of my friend. I hear you wear a kilt, too. I got one. I know, you didn't have it's, one today. It's a big one. All right, oh, I bet you do. Anyway, we're gonna change subject real quickly. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you know, I got um, uh, I got this segment called, now you called, you know your city's cheap when? All right? So I got a picture. You know your city's cheap when they fix the potholes with duct tape. How's that one? <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to Honolulu. <laughs> we got 
music with it. It's very good. Anyway, it's the Christmas season. You can tell I got my wee Christmas outfit on. I like it. I'm very stylish. Very, very stylish. Anyway, you know, I'm out looking for... Uh, I have a wee number of girlfriends, so I'm out getting some, some gifts for the girlfriends. What do you got? Yeah, I got... So I got one today. How do women love shoes? <laughs> so take, take a look at that oh, picture. Shoes. Take a look at that picture. I'm going to get the old crow a new set of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> do you think she'll like them? I think she'll not like them. I think, I think my life is over <laughs> with that one. But I think Unless she's cool. Chinese. <laughs> oh, maybe Chinese. You're very good there, lad. Okay, anyway, that's what I have today. Andrew, that was or Drew, or Andy, or uh, Mr. Know, Simplicity. We enjoyed having you on the show. It's terrific. Hey, Bobby Chulo, <laughs> get a job. Anyway, as I always say at the end of each show, let your wing gang free wherever you be. Hello, ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hello. <laughs> you, you, you didn't tell me about this part. <laughs> <laughs> That's just oh, wrong. wrong. Yeah. It's a, I guess wrong. That's a skirt violation. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's just skirt violation. It's just what it is. So you got it. <laughs> yeah. Over his yeah. Way over my head. Yeah. Anyway, that's, so that's cool. So before we took the break, you brought up something that was really interesting. It's like, yeah. you know, after 9-11 and the shipping and all the stuff that was going on, the whole music industry changed. And oh, you, yeah. you jumped on that yes, opportunity. So tell us what that, you know, what, what you did. It's kind of a very cool Are kind we of thing. We're live. Oh, We're still here. I didn't yeah. know that. I yeah, thought well, it was hey, a break. The break is over. You always have a break. Hey, okay. this is not a union shop. You have one minute. <laughs> yeah, then you know the union musicians. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. And you're not. So I'm there not. you go. So there you go. Anyway, uh, so. So it changed because of 9-11. Uh, and so all the shipping charges went crazy. Okay. So I've, I was I was a tech. I, I repair you know instruments. All any instrument you have, I can repair it. But I found a niche in renting instruments, especially like drum lines. Or oh, renting. Uh, I ran them to them. Uh, I had like four different companies that are, are travel agents. Okay. They contacted me and they're saying, "How can we fix this? Because it's costing thousands and thousands of dollars to bring them over here." I said, "Well," so I accumulated all this equipment from big tubas, the sousaphones, the marching gear, the amps, whatever they need. And I found that they, they, could, they could use them and ch cheaper if they rent them from me than to ship it. Mm -hmm. then, then all of a sudden the phone started ringing and now I'm busier than ever because four or five times a season, you know, going to spring break, Christmas, December 7th, all well, these talk things. Talk about the 75th anniversary, you just knocked that out of the Oh, park. goodness, thank, thank you, Lord, for that. 75-year anniversary of Pearl Harbor. We had... 2,500 kids at Holly Coal. We had 5,000 kids in their instruments at the Missouri. We had 10,000 people at the convention center that evening. By the way, Kelly Boy, you guys killed it over there. That forever entertainment was great. All this, all these, you know, instruments had to be moved and taken, and that's what I do. I coordinate all my team, my crew, and we did the whole thing. I'm exhausted. And you call me, you want me to be on your show. I'm like, okay, I'll be here. Yeah, that was yesterday. That was yesterday. Well, I got home at 1 well, o'clock I called you morning. last week. No, I just, yeah, but and, I was, and by the way, I didn't call you. To be honest, we, I met you at the bar. <laughs> the Lola's bar, which is the number Lola's one local bar. bar. Which is another well, good local well, bar. Lo if you're, well, Lola's is where I play music at, so yeah. we, we do uh, like once a month over at Lola's. Yeah. Also at Snapper's Nightclub, you know, like I said, Friday, Saturday, and, and Smokehouse on Wednesday night. So music is still my life. And I want to tell anybody that wants to get into music, if you really want to do this and you're really passionate about it, don't do it for the money because you ain't going to make no money. <laughs> but you'll be happy with your music. So true. No, it's, it's okay because it'll come sooner or later. We've been very blessed and thankful. You know, we won all kinds of awards, you know. And the most precious awards of anything has always been the people's choice. Yeah. And for 10 years, you know, in a row, we, in a row, back in the day, we were that, guys. But we're still playing. And I'm saying to the musicians, don't give up on your dream. If you believe you want to do this, I've had so many people tell me, how can you make a living doing this? Well, you know what? Well, you 40, years, 40 years later, I'm still doing the same thing I'm trying to do. And, you know, I'm still making a living. I'm still loving what I do. And I don't care because... They can't stop me. But you were innovative. The thing is that you never, you never, you never changed because you <clears> stayed <throat> in the music industry. But like you just talked about, this whole, you know, uh, tubas, you know, all, shipping all of heavy equipment, that kind of thing. You took advantage of that, that opportunity, saw it, and jumped on it. I mean, so there, there's, the, and the industry is really goes through this metamorphosis. I mean, like you said, vinyl's coming back. But, but check this out. Now that everybody knows, everybody's going to be buying stuff now. I can never get into oh, the oh, yeah. well, Thanks a lot. True. Thanks a lot, Gordon. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Sorry. There goes my business. Nah. No. There's quality. It's like anything else, right? It's, it's service. Quality. Service is yes. always important. Service with a smile. Service all yeah. the time. 
Yeah, and we can, you can say I was here first. And so back in the days of ukulele, you know, I was the first guy to, to, to play with the, the, you know, with the, with the orchestra, uh, the Honolulu Symphony. Ukulele was my thing since I was a kid, you know, like carrying around was a, since I was one. Yeah. Changed over. Kelly Boyd de Lima, Troy Fernandez, all these dudes. Oh, Kaimuki High School, right on. Oh. Those were, they all grew up yeah, over there. Time. They all learned oh, from, from me playing ukulele. And it was, it, you know, it's changed because back then it wasn't cool to play ukulele with, with a reggae, you know, you play a reggae yeah, for it you, wasn't? You, you get an ear pulled, your mother said, don't you play like that. Oh, yeah. You had to play, you know, like. Yeah, nahe, nahe oh, that's, that's good. What so was, okay, what as, soon as, as soon as mom leave the room and go. Come back in the room and go, oh. <laughs> True story. You gotta love it. You gotta but it's love changed, it. and uh, I was the first guy to bring those distortion into ukulele, and the first time somebody saw me there, Where's your guitar? It's like, oh, well, this is my guitar. Yeah, this is how, you, how it works. Um, Gartner, um, Gartner, that girl that plays um, Led Zeppelin music or something. Have you seen, uh, seen I've her? I've seen her. Yeah, she, she, she had that one hit wonder kind of thing, but then that was, she kind of disappeared. Was that Stairway to Heaven? Yeah, I think it was a Stairway to Heaven. I can't remember what it was. But well, Hawaiian music will live forever as long as you keep doing it. Yeah. And you know what? They always said, you're not playing Hawaiian music. And I said, well, I'm Hawaiian and I play music. I've got to be playing Hawaiian music. Yeah, that, well, there you go. I'm going to interpret it that way. So, so um, what do you think uh, of things like Pandora and all the music downloads, uh, things that have ch changed? Because we went through this whole vinyl, like you said, the eight, the, eight two, the eight track, the beta two track. Then we went to CDs. Then we go to Pandora and all the digitized music and so on. And, and, and now we got, I can download the stuff on Pandora. I can bring it up on whatever. So how, how has that changed? You can't sell a CD now. You can, but only if you're playing live. Okay. Oh. In, in the clubs, we can sell it live because, you know, it still works. But okay. in reality, uh, music has changed so much in the, around the world. And, you know, it, no matter what you try to do, it's not, it's not going to stop. And people stealing music is not cool. Right. They're going to do it no matter what we say, no matter what we do. I had an album in Japan that was like a gold record in Japan. I never received a penny of it. Us guys never seen it, but we saw some guy bring me. He goes, I love your CD. And like, can, you autograph, can you autograph my yeah, CD with the Japanese no, logo? And it had it. a flower on it. <laughs> like, uh, it's the truth. So, you know what? All I can say is the music's out bastards. there. No, the music's out there. And, and whatever it takes, I call it, you know, if you can... Take it and use it and play it. I'm cool. Okay. I really mean it because we can't stop it. Music so lives it's, on. It, we, as long as you can keep playing and the music is still alive, you know, simplicity. You, know, you look wonderful tonight. We we changed what Eric Clapton did to uh, his song, and to this day, it's still being played. It's still number one. It's still okay. You know, and and all we can say is, it, God bless him for you know what. Play your music. Don't give up on yourself. And practice, practice, practice. 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 Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, you told me that all the time. I mean, I took ukulele lessons from Andy, and he's laughing because I was so bad. But I can tell you why, and you know why. I never practice. You, you got to practice, and that's just like anything. So you got It's like anything you do, you got to practice, right? Mm. I'm good at what I do. <laughs> he's good at what he's he too. does. He's sitting there. How did I get here? <laughs> That's all the money. It's, it's all about all the money we spend and so on. So, um, so you, you, the advice that you have and so on. You've been in this business now for like it's been. You didn't say the number of years, but it's got to be it's forty. Okay. Yeah. 50? Oh no, no. All right. <laughs> okay, never Thank mind. No, it's okay. I've been I've been in business for fifty two years. So, so the biggest challenges. Now, the biggest challenges you have now, because we talked about you got Waikiki and the different clubs and so on. Oh. What are the biggest challenges? I mean, you've got to be out there on the street. You got Keith. Your your. Um, your buddy helping you, you know, get yeah, out there. Yeah, well, it takes a team. Okay. I mean, if you're going to do this, every every group, no matter what, you have to have the team. I mean, you try to do it on your own, but you can't. It's just it's too much. The matrix is too much. It's too deep to have, you know, an agent or manager, people to help you, even family members. It's still a lot of work, no matter what. Just Like you said, you, it takes two hours to load up the gear, get to the gig. You load everything up, you start it up, nobody sees it, you know, and then all right. of a sudden, you, you go change your shirt, and you come back, and then, and then you do the gig. Your voice is changed then, again. And then you go back, you go back to, you know, you got to play, and then you finish playing, and then you got to take everything, put it back in the van, and then you got to take it home and unload it, and then you go, and you go, oh, that was a mean $100 I made. <laughs> I was going to go 50 <laughs> well, I get a hundred, they get fifty. So. Yeah, you, know, you, get a, you got to pay the rest of the After guys. After taxes, gas. No, no. Yeah. Gas, the, major, the, the, but the matrix of playing music is, is still very large. But if if you're willing to put the time in, and you're willing to really sacrifice, it'll always be there. 
And that's why I said we, we've lasted so long because of sacrifice. And all, Michael Seta, John Sexton, Philip Bacall, you know, Boom Gasper, now he's with Pearl Jam. All these guys, you know, I love them with all my heart because they were always there. They were always playing together. We always showed up. We always did a thing. And we're still doing it. You guys always seem to have this close-knit relationship. There's always the well, musicians are like, you're not, you don't. How's this one? We've been together longer. We've been married. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm well. down. I was down. I wouldn't I'll go down that. Say. Well, I'm everyone's saying, sitting in this no, table. My band, I don't know about you, but my band, I'll, they'll tell you, we've been together long. We've been married. And, you know, only, only my brother still got, you know, sweetie, love you, baby. But the rest of them, I've had this uke longer than I've had more things than I've had. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to go into that space again. Um, so, so anyway, so I'm trying to think. I, I, I don't even know how to end this show tonight today because it's so cool. So, so we'll, we'll end it with a little bit of music. And sure. then, um, and then um, just so you know, this is yours. Um, somewhere here, we have, oh, right there. Okay. We have an autographed solo cup. Uh, all of our guests get autographed solo cups. So this is your number 96, not 86, as opposed to being 86 out of somewhere. So there, and there, there it is. Yeah. Some of us in this table have been 86 <coughs> in some places. I'm going to say mahalo, nui loa. All right, and then close us out with a little bit of music. And thank you guys again for watching the Hawaii Hibachi Talk. <laughs> and I talk to my Why water. Why do you with treat me like a boo? Andy Sexton here from when Simplicity. Your Check him out in uh, Waikiki. And uh, check and us out do you love every Friday at 1 o'clock live on Think Tech Hawaii. I want to thank uh, Zuri, like the way this is in it, Jay, me, let me know. Robert, Nick, Ian, if and all the team behind us that make this happen. And I like to say things every year. It's like it's the Merry Christmas you. time of the year. Not happy it's holidays. Not happy it's holidays. So true, it's so Merry Christmas. It's the reason why it's called oh, Merry Christmas. I and don't forget, gang, as we always say at the end of every show, one, two, three. How you, How you doing? doing?